so apparently there's this tiktok influencer that's love drinking pee and i'm like what so we're gonna find out more about what's going on here and yeah i hope you guys enjoy it as always please leave a like comment subscribe join the fam and yeah let me make this full screen real quick and then we're Get it going. On TikTok, you can convince anyone to do anything. And you don't even have to really try that hard. Right now, there's a man on TikTok fighting the good fight to try and convince people that urine is basically the cure to every ailment on the planet. Now, this what? therapy is not right for everyone. It's very esoteric, and it takes a Jedi mind trick to get over your conditioning, your industrial age school system, your propaganda programming, etc. This is urine therapy. I really love how therapy's lost all- Don't tell me we about to have another, uh, what's his name? The raw, the guy that loved to eat raw meat, or whatever, and the whole time he was on steroids or whatnot, he got exposed. But he does love eating, like, all he ate was, like, raw meat, for whatever reason. All meaning and weight, you can kind of just slap that word on anything and people just believe in it off rip. I wouldn't be surprised if they start preaching about deep fried therapy on TikTok. Where you go and jump into a deep fat fryer in order to give yourself like a golden crispy body armor and it's supposed to like open your pores and make you immune to bullets or something ridiculous but the evil pro i'm pretty sure there's one person out there that's that will actually believe such a thing i'm pretty sure programming that he's talking about here that you have the jedi mind trick men in black neuralizer out of your brain is the common sense knowledge most people have to not drink piss and certainly not use urine as a sunscreen. And oh definitely not using PP as an anti-balding agent. It's not exactly propaganda Wait, that's programming that he's preaching it as. It's literally like common sense it's pretty much basic human instinct particular situation right here this is aged urine this is about six months maybe a little bit longer give or take it's got that Ew. nice brown tint to it uh a vintage brew it's bro why thank god man this is bro like why there's people out here like that like come on do you Who not hear it yourself taste? No doubt fermented in an oak barrel while Mozart played in the facility while this was festering. <laughs> so, it's got the nice brown tint to it that everyone loves their pee to look like. And he's very excited. This is a delicacy to this guy. The fucking urine utopia here. He's got everything he could ever need. A nice six-month-old piss jar. And then, of course, oof gnarly smells like ammonia i don't always drink this oh, but my. the research that i've shown is it's good for parasites it's good for your gut microbiome it's gnarly so it's going to have that element of power i don't always is it his own or is it like random people I... does it really matter at this point drink this but oh when i do God. i end up projectile vomiting in my toilet and that's proof to me that it's detoxing my body and deparasiting me obviously the research i've read none of which i cite none of which actually exists with any real merit to it all says that drinking piss is two thumbs way up so i do it <laughs> daily <laughs> I can't help but giggle at that belief. I don't care if they say it's a cure for cancer, bro. I am not drinking. I don't care if they say it prevent cancer, bro. I'm not drinking that. In no way in hell. That if something is so turbo shitty, it must actually be good for you. This is so gnarly. Thus, it has that element of power to it. No, goofball, you're drinking piss. The only power that has is to leave stains in a gas station toilet seat. <laughs> That's it. It's not doing anything for you. Just because it's gross and gnarly doesn't mean that it's somehow carrying these, you know, secret benefits underneath all of the garbage. Not everything that tastes bad good for, good for you. And I think that's what a guy trying to do. Oh, it tastes gnarly. So that means it must be good for you. That's not what it, this is not that case, bro. <laughs> like that's not how that works this is not all. vegetables and he keeps talking about it being like an ancient therapy i will never understand why people want to go back to the ancient ways people barely made it to adulthood back five thousand years ago most people were dropping dead by 12 years old it's not like <laughs> the ancient civilizations had it figured out 
Like, their techniques were the best ones. People live longer now and healthier now than they ever were back then. So I don't know why all of a sudden we're putting so much stock in the ancient ways. So typically, I use it topically. It's excellent for energy in the sun, boosts my testosterone. I just feel it in my muscles. It really gives me a lot of clarity and energy. But I have it open and we're talking about it. So of course, we can drink a little bit and see what happens. Oh my god. The first thing I just hope he's trolling and that's like a root beer float or something. I just hope he's trolling, man. I just hope because we can't smell it through the screen. So I hope he like like trolling a bit just to get the views and controversy and just get his name out there. I just hope because this is disgusting that we get is it's very gnarly smelling however once it goes on your skin and you get some sunlight on it i like to ride my bike uh a great swig indeed the exquisite flavor imagine riding around smelling like piss you like riding around like passing people and they're like what the hell what he smell like Ho what homeless of pee mm, scrumptious piss now to be fair it's probably not that much worse than just drinking a miller light but the thing is, at least Miller Lite's not preaching all of these ridiculous health benefits that he's about to drone on about, all of which are a bunch of fucking hooey. And then he starts lecturing about how he uses his six-month-old piss as a lotion, like basically a sunscreen, and how it like helps make his muscles feel better and he gets like a pump out of it and all kinds of yeah, just nonsense gobbledygook. Put it on my body, either lay out here at the pool or put it on my body and go out for a ride in my bike, even when it's 110, 115 degrees out here. I mean, I know how powerful this is for me. It's not the greatest tasting delicacy on the planet, but it's oh kind of like God. eating oysters or uni, sea urchin. I know it's good for me. It's loaded with minerals. It's not good for you. At like, all. That's something that's reserved for a life or death situation where you need piss to survive. This isn't something that you just wake up and do as part of- Not even in that situation I'm drinking that, bro. I'm, I'm out. I'm out. If I'm dehydrated, what piss is there for me to drink, bro? <laughs> yeah, I'm out. I'm Your out. Your daily I'm morning dead. routine. That is so outrageous. <laughs> he just really thinks for some reason it's good for him because he let his fucking pee sit in a jar for six months and now is drinking it and using it as sunscreen. Now, he doesn't need to age his urine. He is fine just pissing and drinking it every morning like fresh urine right, right from the source. You know, ethically sourced pee from his cock. <laughs> He's fine doing that. It's not necessarily the aging that oh he thinks makes God, it good bro. for him. He just really thinks drinking urine and using urine in a variety of different ways is just like the best thing for you. Mm. Inexplicably. It, it's Crazy. so ridiculous. And he talks about how he like puts it on his body and then goes for like a bike ride. My heart breaks for any unfortunate souls that happen to just be walking down the sidewalk when this guy rides by on his bike. I can't even imagine the smell. That must be mm. unfathomable. Like having your senses assaulted by 15 dump trucks all unleashing that Methodist right to your nose. Like you could probably- It's probably like walking into like the dirtiest like public bathroom, but like times 10. I smell this guy coming from a mile away, wearing six month old dried piss. As a, as a cologne, as he's on his bike ride, his morning commute. Exactly. Like that scene in Spongebob like, with like, mm. like taking the stink with him. It's crazy how awful that must be. <laughs> Cell salts, amino acids, stem cells, antigens, antibodies. But what the way I like to use it ultimately is topically. So you put a little bit in your hand there. I hope that's iced tea. I and hope. You just rub it on your skin. Please be sweet tea. Please so be once sweet it's tea. out in the sun for a little while, it mixes with your own pheromones and it smells like perfume. I highly fucking doubt that. I imagine you just smell like piss. Look, the logic there makes no sense. What's he even opens that jar and says that it smells gnarly. So how would you take something that smells gnarly, put it on your body, and, and then all of good. a sudden it magically turns into something that's like perfume? That's the whimsy of urine therapy, I suppose, the magical mystique of it. He throws Ooh. out a lot of buzzwords about <laughs> the benefits that urine has with the antigens and the stem cells and all of that. And I decided to look into it. There's like some research about some of the stuff that is in urine, but none of it recommends ever consuming it or using it on your body in any way, because at the end of the day, it's waste. 
It's literally the only thing I heard that is good for is probably like if you had like a sea urchin in your foot, or if you got stung, or is it like some type of thing with your skin? Like you put it on it to like help with the itch or burn or whatever the case may be. That's the only thing I heard is good for. Other than that, hell no. Can oh, we... and I think um jellyfish, uh, jellyfish um sting, if I'm not mistaken. Just your body's waste. Yeah, it has some shit in it. That is, like, if you're dumb, like an actual Neanderthal brain sounds like it's going to be good, like stem cells. But what what you don't realize is it's not like you drinking that urine is somehow, like, blasting your whole body with stem cells from piss. You drinking that urine is somehow, like, blasting your whole body with stem cells from piss. It's a little musky, oh. if you will. And so this is what gives me excellent color. And I don't always practice this, but when I do, it makes me feel great. So I took some time to create some jars earlier last year. See me getting this is legs. diabolical. This is I like nasty. to get it in where my lymph nodes are. So in the creases of my elbows, behind my knees, on my ankles, where the don't sun me hits me ears. the most, my shoulders. Now, of course, he's not the only enthusiast of PP. There is really? an entire oh. community of urine therapy cultists that swear by it. Like, There's no way. They love this. A community? Like, they really think they're becoming superhumans, beating every possible ailment ever just through piss. It's like the ultimate panacea to them. But that raises an important question. Why not poop? Why is it only <laughs> reserved for urine? Why doesn't this extend to the butthole as well. Why is this guy not a shit-eating specialist? Why isn't he preaching the gospel Good question. about the hidden benefits of feces consumption? I'll tell you why. It's because they're all cowards. When you drink piss, you're not usually going to make yourself super sick from it or anything, so it's a little safer. But when you eat shit, you can make yourself sick. So they're just afraid. If you want my <laughs> respect, you'll start eating poop to the as well. So this guy says he gets up most mornings and drinks some pee. Well, how about you drink that pee and wash that pee down with some poop? Then I'll be impressed. You tell me when this guy starts using poop as a sunscreen. Like, it's probably even better than urine in that respect. It's a little thicker, so you can get, like, a nice, good lather on it. Yeah, then, then I'll say maybe this guy's <laughs> on to something. This whole fucking thing is so ridiculous. Like, it's so ridiculous that you can just make an argument for actually anything and have people believe it. Even drinking their own piss and using it as sunscreen. I know people that wash their hair with it. They have gotten rid of some premature balding. It's used for all sorts of stuff. I don't make any claims. I just love it. And I've been using it for 20 years. And I love the way it makes my skin look and my muscles feel. How in the fuck would urine on your scalp prevent premature balding? Crazy if anything, it would take. scare the follicles into submission even quicker. The, the follicles would kill themselves if they started getting <laughs> drowned in piss. Like, it's, it's such a ridiculous thing to now. say. And then he goes on to say that he's not making claims, even though this is exactly what you're doing. These are claims you're making. <laughs> like, that's exactly what's happening here. So, every morning, I pee in a mason jar. Bro, he's still rubbing it in, too. And I drink it. I put it in a neti pot, and I clean my nose with it. Nah, he's trolling. If you want to age it, this is a 64 ounce wide mouth mason jar. I don't really need the piss brewing tutorial to be honest. It's pretty self-explanatory. Pee in a jar, let it sit for six months. <laughs> like that, I think anyone in the world can follow that with no problems and no education required for that. Also, that's got to be the worst breakfast of champions I've ever heard. Facts. Waking up every morning to piss in a jar and drink it. That's atrocious what a what an awful start to the day that's and not how you recycle by the way that's 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 not how you recycle when we talk about recycling that is not it <laughs> then he says that he uses his pee in a neti pot to clean out his sinuses I, that's that's galaxy brain brother this isn't a therapy you've got a fetish for i never wonder why covid and whole quarantine thing, quarantine thing happened right yeah tight muscles we're pain. slowly getting not answers. making any claims whatsoever i just experienced this and it feels amazing in the sun you pretty much get the idea that's the whole pitch here on urine therapy you convinced yet i know i'm not
So I just had to share this. I Facts. saw this earlier today, and it is just a, b- a baffling video and concept that he's talking about here. I, I, well, anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. As always, let me know in the comments what you think. And like, comment, share with a friend. Subscribe, join the fam. We just hit 9K, and I'll see you for the next one.